speak uh, also on behalf of uh, Ireland as, as co-pen holder on the humanitarian uh, file. Uh, in, in our statement, we will in particular put focus on, on the fact that 2.4 million children in Syria is out of school by the start of this school year. And we know that without schools, there, the risk for, uh, for, 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 especially for girls with early marriages and of course for the young uh, and, and, and young adults being recruited to armed groups. So we are very concerned about uh, also the situation for, for, for schools and education in Syria. Another thing that affects very much the humanitarian situation is the recent outbreak of cholera in, uh, in Syria, which proves again the it's a very strong necessity for, for uh, humanitarian assistance uh, into Syria, being it cross-border and cross-line. the uh, UNGA high-level week next week, um, what are you expecting to be addressed? Um, are there any topics you're worried might get a little lost while all the world leaders are here because everyone's going to be focused on Ukraine? Yeah, there is a good reason for the world being focused on Ukraine, uh, also the, the war and of course the implication of the war globally uh, for food security and increased uh, food and, uh, and energy prices. But, uh, but, but I'm sure as always uh, that, uh, that we will also be able to put focus on, 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 on other crisis uh, situation, at least we will do our part, being it uh, Afghanistan, uh, being it uh, 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 Syria, uh, Middle East um, peace process, and, uh, uh, and other topics. Thank you. Thank you. Ambassador, thank you. Uh, should we wait for Security Council statement on Armenia and Azerbaijan? Uh, that's too, um, too early to say. Thank you. Thank you.